just Chris Boone. Quiet conditions across the state of Texas as we kind of roll our way in towards the weekend. Did see some spotty showers out towards the Houston area earlier into the afternoon hours. Now past sunset, most of that activity kind of fizzling out. Again, we have seen one or two passing clouds. Actually saw a little bit of an increase in that cloud coverage towards sunset, but uh, still mostly clear skies. Again, one or two passing clouds. Nothing as far as any radar concern. Uh, no rain or showers out there, but that could change going in towards the weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday will offer some rain chances. I have details of that here in just a couple of minutes, but first, uh, what we're seeing it right now in downtown San Angelo with those mostly clear skies, temperatures into the low 80s, but very humid out there. You definitely felt the dew points with the higher humidity, uh, dew point into the mid 60s, 64. The air you can wear, again, they're very sweaty out there, uh, and those winds out of the south, 7 miles per hour, kind of bringing in more of that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to hang on to the humid conditions as we go in towards your Saturday as well. Temperatures into the 80s right now for the majority of the area, but the bigger storm has been those dew points. Uh, they're going to hang on for tomorrow, staying into the 60s. Again, those humid conditions going to persist in towards Sunday. Then we see the cold front kind of make its arrival. It might see a little bit of relief kind of pulling back down uh, those dew points after that cold front pushes through. For tonight, mostly clear skies. Temperatures falling back down into those mid to upper 70s. And then for tomorrow, we'll see the hot temperatures. Mostly clear skies to start off the day into the late afternoon and early evening hours. That's where we can start to see one or two thunderstorms starting to kind of pop up across the Concho Valley. Again, very isolated in nature, uh, and that's going to be restricted more towards the afternoon time frame. The morning time frame, uh, a lot of people headed out to Kirby Park for the walk to end Alzheimer's. Uh, temperatures are going to be pretty comfortable into those mid-70s. So start off your morning, mostly clear skies. Really won't start to see the thunderstorm development until we get in towards the afternoon hours or late afternoon, early evening. Saturday and Sunday, both near record temperatures into the triple digits. So we're going to be about one degree shy. We'll be watching both days uh, for any potential record breaking. But then we'll also be watching the radar. Those isolated showers really kind of started popping up around 6 p.m. The most heat uh, could see one or two thunderstorms moving across the Concho Valley from the northwest to the south and east. Uh, as we go in towards the evening time frame, those will start to kind of fizzle out. By Sunday, we start to turn our attention to more of the cold front. That's going to be pushing in from the northeast, much more widespread across the state as it pushes that moisture in. Uh, those showers and storms really kind of popping up late Sunday in throughout the day on Monday. And with it, cooler temperatures, we'll see a big drop in the temperatures from those triple digits for the weekend. They're going to fall back down in towards the 80s. Again, those rain chances going to continue to linger uh, for the beginning of the week, but things will dry out as we get into towards the second half. So the official beginning of fall tomorrow, not going to feel like it. Triple digits both Saturday and Sunday. The cold front comes through next week, cooling those temperatures back down into the 80s and 90s for the majority of next week.